Louis Vuitton is just one of those companies that reminds us of wealth and what it's like being the owner of the world's biggest luxury goods company. Today, we'll talk about the billionaire lifestyle of LV owner Bernard Arnault. Bernard Arnault was born in France in 1949. His father was a manufacturer named Jean-Léon Arnault, who graduated from Ecole Centrale in Paris. Bernard earned his engineering degree from École Polytechnique in Paris. In 1971, he took control of civil engineering. The company Faz Savino, which his father once took over from his wife's father. Years later, Bernard changed the direction of his company towards real estate and also bought the parent company of Christian Dior himself. Later, in 1987, Bernard finally got a chance to invest in Mayan Hennessy, Liz Vuitton and LVMH. Since Bernard's company owns all kinds of luxury brands that produce some of the most expensive goods in the world, owning large tracts of land is something multimillionaires take for granted. And Bernard Arnault, with a net worth of over $175 billion, is no exception. It turned out that Bernard secretly acquired five large plots of the land in the Beverly Hills area between 2016 and 2017. The combined value of the five plots is reported to be around $125 million. That's just property. Bernard Arnault loves spending his days in France, but that doesn't mean he can't visit multiple places when he feels like traveling. The billionaire owns almost half of Rodeo Drive. In 2016, Bernard purchased the home of one of the best streets in Trousdale Estates for nearly $32.5 million. Then, in November 2017, Bernard paid $17 million for a mansion on Bird Street in the Hollywood Hills. But Bernard wasn't done yet. It only took two months to build one. The $14 million house is next door, but the houses are located on the front line of the neighborhood, offering stunning views of Los Angeles below. Bernard also owns several properties in France. Most notable is his huge castle-like mansion in Saint-Tropez, with state-of-the-art facilities like a fantastic outdoor swimming pool. Yet, billionaires don't just care about their businesses and corporate activities. Like everyone else, they have hobbies and passions they like to indulge, and they are pretty expensive. Bernard seems interested in spending time on the huge luxury yacht. Bernard entered the yachting business in 2008 with the acquisition of Princess Yachts for 250 million euros. He then invested in phone land for almost the same amount, which together with the two brought his investment to 500 million dollars. Bernard also acquired one of the largest yachts in the world, known as the Symphony. It is over 100 meters long and can accommodate up to 36 passengers. It was divided into eight cabins with a separate area for crew members, but apart from them, Werner was also the owner of Amadeus, valued at $70 million. This super yacht was originally built in 1969 for research purposes. The yacht has an icebreaker hull and a huge body. The super yacht has also hosted some big names over the years, including Tony Blair, Boris Johnson and Bono. Private jets, multi-billionaires can be expected to wait for plants or fly with passengers they did not specifically choose. Billionaires have instead paid millions of dollars to own private jets that they can take anywhere, anytime. Bernard Arnault also has a whole range of planes that make this trip very fast, comfortable and, of course, luxurious. He's the author of a Bombardier Global 7500 with FGVMA registration. This jet is said to be the longest and the largest business jet in the world. It can accommodate up to 19 passengers. The jet costs 73 million. Bernard also owns a Bombardier Global 6000 with registration number FFVI. This particular jet was designed in 2012 and Bernard bought it for a private island for 23 million. Earth is not just about grand mansions, hotels and shopping malls for billionaires. These people have the money to buy up entire islands, and they do. Frenchman Bernard Arnault is the proud owner of Indigo Island, a 133-acre island in the Bahamas. Luxury hotels. Bernard also owns another luxury asset, namely luxury hotels. His company, LVMH, owns both the Cheval Blanc Hotel and the Belmont Hotel. Both of these hotels are famous, are famous for their extravagance and amazing amenities. 
Chimel Blanc is a huge facility with 72 rooms and suites. The hotel also offers luxury spending, with stores such as Louis Vuitton and Dior on site. On the other hand, Belmont is a whole chain of luxury hotels with facilities in 24 countries around the world. Art Collection Bernard Arnault also seems to be an art and culture enthusiast, at least from his luxurious art collections. Over the years, a French, the French business mogul, has quite works by world-famous artists such as Pablo Picasso, Henry Moore, Yves Klein and Andy Warhol. To name a few, these pieces could be worth millions or even billions given their value. According to reports, Bernard likes to keep these favorite works of art close to him in his Paris home. Berner also launched a competition program for art school students, who with $340,000 each year will give them the chance to start their own brand. Since 2013, this program of his has changed the lives of several talented students. Holidays And when Berner doesn't make money, he goes on vacation and sometimes does it together. He's a wine lover and owns more than 10 wineries. Some of the most famous are Mayotte and Chandon, Hennessy, Chateau and Trickster. He is such a big fan of wine that he enjoys spending his free time in wine yards around the world. His favorite region seems to be Bordeaux, where he and his friend Albert Ferret control a beautiful and rustic wine yard known as Chateau Cheval Blanc. He also enjoys vacationing on his private island as well as other places. Donations Bernard's very short list of public donations is quite surprising considering the amount of money he has. He doesn't seem to be a big donor and isn't mentioned much when it comes to giving back to the community. One of the notable donations he made was in 2019. Billionaire donated a total of $234 million to help repair Notre Dame Cathedral in France, which burned down in the early days of the coronavirus pandemic. Bernard also donated to the Amazon rainforest to help fight the fires. Donated by the Simis, amount of almost 11 million dollars. It's also possible that Bernard is making donations all the time and not disclosing them. Who knows how many times he has donated smaller sums to various causes without making it public, which is why he seems not like donations. Nevertheless, Bernard's published donations are not an extravagant compared to some other billionaires like Bill Gates. Bernard Arnault owns many things, it's just a consequence of being a crazy rich as he is. His list of assets is seemingly endless and with a long list of mistakes, it's understandable that he spends money on useful assets that will secure the future of an entire generation. That was it for today's video, thanks for watching.